Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The day has arrived. Palmeiras against Flamengo for the semi-final first leg of Libertadores. For the last two seasons, if you've been following this series, you know that these guys have preventing us from achieving our dream to reach the World Cup final and win it. And not only that, they rub it in our faces because they won the last FIFA Club World Cup. How dare they? How dare they make me so jealous that my blood was boiling for <laughs> more time than I care to admit. And now it's time for the record. I'm sorry, it's just, it's a game. Um, let's, let's try to beat them. That's kind of, that's kind of it. And uh, let's just take a quick look how we've been doing so far. So, yes, yeah, still a lot to play. Oh, wow. There's a lot of games till the end of the season. But we haven't been doing that bad. So the last time uh, we played, uh, that I recorded, that is, was against Inter, where we qualified for the semi-final. And then I've been tweaking the tactic. And it's more offensive, we concede a bit more. And by the way, I've been rotating a lot the team. I think if I hadn't, uh, probably we could have scored more. But I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember um, that we had um, an average of less than, um, less than two goals per game. And now it's above two goals, more than two goals per game average. So we are improving. And um, the team is playing very well. I'm liking it. So let me show you real quick. Uh, I went back to inverted wingers attacking because that's what I like. I'm flirting with this. I don't want to touch this position. These three guys are like the core of my defense. And I typically, I'm kind of getting used to the idea where I normally defend with six players. These two and these four. And potentially when I'm caught in the defensive transition, so in the counter-attack of the opponent, I'm kind of okay with having just three men behind and hoping that the, the other three recover quickly and these other four help. That's kind of it. But I'm trying to make a tactic where I only rely on these six guys to defend and these other four just you know i'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to make them very productive and so far not bad one thing that i think made the difference but i'm not sure uh, we'll see as as time progresses is this i didn't have this instruction pass into space and and since i put I, I selected it i think it improved things not sure uh, could be coincidence because this game as you can see very complex a lot of variables and stuff but yeah another thing that's very important i kind of uh, talked about it uh, a little bit on the previous episode is the floating here no there is a floating uh, lurk not floating <laughs> what am i thinking lurking so this lurking so these lurking positions seem to be very important for the goal scoring. These two and this one. No, not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Okay. This is, isn't what I want to show. So it's the lurking and... And I thought I had another one. Okay, I must be going... Yeah. Much later. Oh no. Okay, I'm... Oh god, I'm my brain it's sunday evening so it's been a long week like normally is when you work and you have a family <laughs> and responsibilities <laughs> so apologies uh, let me start this again two things that are very important could be coincidence we'll see with time but i've i've started to create a lot of danger in set pieces from corners which is lurking put especially at the far post and make the corner be uh, sent to the six yard box that was the second change i wanted to highlight so this i i did i think i reorganized this a bit but i don't think any of the other changes make any difference the main ones were this one six yard box and lurking because i see these players participating in the goals that i've been scoring a lot from corners 
so yeah that's that's some improvement um if this turns out to be successful i will uh, maybe in an episode or maybe actually do a video dedicated to my tactic if we are very successful if not i not really or if you guys are interested just let me know <coughs> and i might make a video explaining uh, all the details about my tactics set pieces and etc okay and that's basically it now let's go and focus on this very important game so yeah i was rotating the team so that everybody was kind of 100 percent and we almost have everybody at 100% so I'm doing something a bit weird which is I got this guy as a backup but he's so good that he is now taking the place of my other guy which is also very good and this guy is wanted by Newcastle still okay Newcastle come on come forward because um, having these two as foreigners means that another foreigner needs to be left out which for the Libertadores doesn't actually matter and I want to keep Thiago Volpi because he's a very good uh, replacement goalkeeper uh, basically what I want to do what I've been doing actually is making our best goalkeeper at the moment not play at all <laughs> because I rotate between this guy because I want to sell him so I want to to improve him and keep him um, fit and, and playing well etc and I want to keep this guy uh, happy Volpi because I don't want him to leave because he's a very good uh, backup goalkeeper so I'm sacrificing <laughs> this guy <laughs> for the time being I don't want to have two foreigners as goalkeepers basically and I want to keep Thiago as a as a backup so it's not very um, maybe it's not the, the best thing I could do Hopefully this guy won't be too unhappy, but if this guy starts to be unhappy, is he already unhappy? Okay, he'll get there. He will poor relationship with manager, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe because I don't play you, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Let's see. Hope this makes sense. The goalkeeper strategy. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, let's see. I said this was going to work. So this is our bet. Antonio stole the place to Lodi. But I don't understand why so many orange. I have so many players with the orange arrows pointing down, meaning they are not progressing in training. But uh, I don't want to focus on that right now. I still want to play Lodi because I think he's more experienced and more established. I don't want to take risks. Moreno has been playing very well for us. <gasps> Oh yeah, Julian Lopez is injured, so he cannot play Cuellares to take his place, we should be okay. Although his stats have been decreasing massively, oh well, okay. But he should still, I, I still trust him, with Fabian, yep, Alvin Mineirinho, like this. And Alvin Eir, he stole the place to Dentinho, Dentinho was playing very well for us, but... Uh, yeah, you don't score, you snooze, you lose. And I think we have all the players we want to have sitting on the bench. No, actually, we don't have. And we need a central defender just in case. And yeah, okay, now we are good. So this is a very offensive tactic. Away at Palmeiras at the semi final of Libertadores. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Come on, guys. Oh, they are playing 4 2 3 1. Okay. Wow, they got William Jose. This guy is good. Okay, he's a bit old, but he's very good. He is very. Oh, they, they just bought them. We just bought them seven games ago. 24 million. Palmares, you haven't been sleeping. Nice kid. Corona, I know him from Porto. He's not amazing. He's not bad either. And Arce, oh yeah, this kid, I was going to buy him, but because I already had so much attacking power, I let Palmeiras have him, and he's been doing quite well for them, yeah. Yeah, so very, except for the, this side, these three players are very good, Gerson is good, but defensively is not amazing, so this might be uh, something that we might take advantage again, they defensively, they don't seem too strong in the midfield. And then left back, 
Yeah, this guy is good. Good left back. Center back. Uh, not so great. Not bad either. Yeah, there's no... I think the weak spots in this team could be this side. So our right back should have... Oh, they got Danilo as well. Pomeres, you naughty, naughty boys. You've been uh, not holding back on the budget. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think the fact that their midfield doesn't defend so well, hopefully we will be able to take advantage. So, let's see. Come on, guys. We need this. It's been three seasons since we went to the final of the, the World Cup and it's the goal. With at least we need to win it. We need to reach it at least. Come on, guys. Highlight with two minutes. Okay, it's promising. Here we go. And we just give the ball away. Yeah, not the best highlight ever. And we are doing high pressure, which is something I always like to do. Win that ball, win that ball. <laughs> and it's just. <sighs> do you see this? We have. Okay, Cuellar, not amazing, but look. That straight from the goalkeeper. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Come on. Montero. Oh, what a stupid, stupid, stupid idiot goal to concede. Okay, I hope this is just an exception and great pass. Oof, what a save. Okay, it was offside, but still. Okay, a lot of highlights. Okay, come on, Fabiano. Highlight for them. What a stupid! I still can't get. Over. Oh no, that's a lot of space right there. Come on, guys, come on. We are better than them. Moreno, we need a good cross there. I'll, uh, I might start to do what. Oh no, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oof. I was going to say I might need to start doing what Palmeiras is doing and getting like these great players that although his physicals are not great but everything else is that means they take the, you know they make the right decisions when it needs when it's neither I should say yeah that goal broke us a bit they are doing slightly better than us but a goal can change everything Cuellar nice save nice shot well, I don't want to lose three times in a row against Palmeiras. I mean, be eliminated of the Libertadores, that is. I, I don't understand that uh, their midfield. Ooh, their midfield is not great. Defensively, and we're not creating danger. What the hell? And why are you passing the ball to them? Come on. You need help. Stop. Look, ugh. okay. Abunair is not having a good game so far. Pass the ball, good. I need a good cross there. Need a good cross, Fabiano. Abunair, yes. Abunair, okay. At least you score goals. <sighs> okay. I thought this was going to be a missed opportunity. Does a good cross. Me Fabiano did well and then he didn't rush into things and he waited for the best pass and and waited for help. Excellent. Well played guys. Oh, this goal might be so important for the overall for the overall knockout. Don't let them go. Mm, okay, another highlight. Okay, this is going to be intense. To be expected, semi final, two big teams, very well balanced. Although I, I still think I have the better team. Nice, nice run, Abunair. Nice run. Oh. And now he got injured. He's starting to play. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Fortunately, I have Dentinho, who also is very good. 
So hopefully, this won't affect the team. Another highlight immediately after the substitution. Don't let him. Sh nice counter attack. Come on, Minirin, wait for help. Wait for help. Good. I need a good cross, Moren. I need a good cross. So much space. Come on, Fabiano. Oh, 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 nice. What? What a poisonous counter attack. That was amazing. That was an. Oh, what a counter. Great cross. And Fabian is playing very well. Very calm and controlled. Doesn't rush into things. Makes the right decisions at the right time. Man of the match so far. Don't lose the ball there. Don't give the ball away. Nice interception, Montiel. Oof, I, I thought he was going to lose it again. Yeah, Montiel is playing very well. Okay. There's a lot of space there, yeah. Nice interception. Nice, well defended, guys. Okay. Their midfield needs to suffer more. They need to put more pressure on them. Danilo is playing like a winger. Oh, nice interception. And now we need to punish them because they don't have a good defensive midfielder. Yeah, they want to attack us, fine. And then we punish them. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yes, nice interception. Good, well played. Well played, Fabiano. Great pass, Minirinha. I need another, another. Yes, Moreno. Ooh, what a save. And still not over. I need a good cross there. That, that, that didn't happen. Okay, we seem to be on top of them. Yes, we seem to be on top of them. This is looking very good. Yes, Moreno. Nice, Moreno is causing havoc. What the goal? What? There you go! What did I just see? Look at this run from the halfway line. Dribbles the first one with a bit of luck, but then runs past everybody. Boom! With his weaker foot, the left foot. Wow! <laughs> and that's what my tactic has been showing. It's like, yeah, we, we concede, but now our attack is like unforgiving almost. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing, guys. And I'm not going to do any changes. I, I don't care if this game ends like 6-3 or whatever. I want to be on top of them until the end. No mercy. I've been rotating the team, so they are, they are well rested. There's no excuse not to continue with this intensity. Is there a fourth coming? Why are we seeing a highlight here? Just don't give the ball away. Yeah, nice. Fabian is playing very well. All his decisions seem to be good. Look at this pass. Great. I need a great cross, which wasn't it, but Minirinho oh, won the rebound. Nice. We're playing so well. Wow. Great pass. I need a great cross now. <laughs> We're playing so well. And to be fair to my team, the only reason why they scored because we kind of I don't know, I had a mental a brain fart and we'll just let the guy, uh, you know, pass through us like he had some kind of invitation or immunity to our defenders, which just a weird call to concede. But, but we didn't give up and we scored three. It's amazing. Yeah, and their midfield is not very good. Oh, they did change. Let me just check real quick. So they changed their aspect. Yeah, this guy is good. And I guess they put a more defensive midfielder. No, their midfield. Yeah, the midfielders don't defend very well. This is going to be good for us. This is going to, especially because we have such an offensive team. As long as we don't do more mistakes like the one we gave sh to them. Okay. Are we going to win this ball? No, we are not. Our, our midfield, in terms of defensive stats, is also not amazing, but our two center mids, they are good defensively. Although Coelhar is seen... Oh, what a sad <laughs> cross. Oh, this seems easy. It's like they are so far away. They are... Look, look where he is. He is here. How can you put... Make this cross... Look, he's so far away. And... You know, again, we let them, this guy escape. Oh, okay. 
Oh. And Quillar no sorry local. Okay. I don't need any other incentive to replace him. And Caillou should play well at midfield. He should play because he yeah. Yeah, I think I need to reinforce my defensive midfield because Quellar is past his um <laughs> past his is it's a, it's a expiring date. <laughs> so I was trying to search for the word. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down, Influx. This is all under control. Trust your team. Come on, let's punish them. Let's punish them. <sighs> First mistake today from Fabian. Should have released the ball earlier. What a tight game. Oh no, Kai saw yellow card. Oh crap. I just. <sighs> Okay, I need, I need, I need to change this. Then <coughs> I need to tell him, don't touch anyone. If I can, tackle harder. Yeah, no, 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 no. So it has to be a center mid. Martin is off tackles. Shot the path. It's left, left, left. Secure for position. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, this should hopefully be okay. And hopefully we'll finish this game with ten men. Another yellow for us. We should be punishing them more, come on. They, they are really bad at defending. And so are we, I guess. <clears throat> okay. I think I want to be a bit conservative in my approach and I want to replace Law because he's a defender and has a yellow card. I was on the fence, uh, in my mind is between putting Tete, because he normally creates havoc every time he comes in, or put Antonio, who is uh, currently slightly better than Renan, although less experienced, and is fresh and doesn't have a yellow card. So I think yeah, I'm going to do the conservative approach because we're winning 3-2 away, so yeah, I think this is the best decision, hopefully. The best decision will yield the best results. We will soon find out. Nice, nice interception. Come on, I need a deadly counter attack. Come on, cross from here as well. Uh, of course, they always. Nice, nice, we won the rebound. Oh, that's, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to do game over. And team instructions. I'm wasting a lot. I'm very happy with this result. I don't like highlights when my goalkeeper has a ball. Okay. Nice, so much space. Come on, we need to punish them. So much space. Yes! Oh, how can I miss that one, Moreno? Even my grandmother with her belly would push that into the goal. So long to finish and annihilate. Okay, we are not in the right positions, and this guy's all escaping. He's almost dead. He's like 60%. Look, 60%, and he's still running up and down. Come on, guys, let's finish this. We are better than them. Come on. Come on, I need a great shot from. <laughs> he, he wants to carry the ball into the goal. Dentinha, that's why he's not been playing. He needs to be more clinical in front of goal. I've been saying this since this series started. <laughs> All my strikers are like that. I'm starting to think maybe it's not the strikers, it could be the manager. Nah, I'm sure it's this, the 15 billion strikers I've already tried. What's happening? Okay, corner, are we going to. Finish this. 4-2 and this this knockout stage is, is done. We are at the final if we score. Yeah, it would be nice if we could win a header, but okay. Anyway, this is an awesome result. This kid is going to be huge. Yeah, I, I I'm yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I'm 
I don't score a lot of goals because I don't choose the best players to score a lot of goals. This kid is going they, they're going to make so much money. Well it's still not cheap. Look at this. Eight million. Oof. Yeah. But they're going to sell this guy for a lot more, I reckon. Okay, this was exciting. A lot of goals. I'll be near each oh four to five weeks, okay. This shouldn't be too bad. Because we have a lot of attacking options. Hopefully we won't miss him too much. Okay, I'm going to just plow through this unless the the, the decisive game will happen somewhere here. I'll come back on the, the second leg. And uh, and that's going to be for our next episode, guys. Let's just take a quick look at the league. Yeah, you see I have two games <laughs> less than these guys. Yeah, so I, yeah, it's almost like 20 points. It's just, yeah. They're not going to catch me. And obviously on the top three goal scorers, none of my players appear here because why would they? Let's see just who... Okay, I have these three guys kind of chasing them with eight goals each. My, yeah. Now to be fair, it's because I've been rotating a lot. Because in terms of goal per minute... Uh, yeah, Albanese is the best of all. Yeah. Unfortunately now he got injured, so... Yeah, and then Dentinho not bad, Mineirinho is a bit not so good. So yeah, maybe Dentinho will, will pick up the pace and start scoring because he has awesome stats, I think. For an advanced forward, he has awesome, awesome stats. And he's tall as well. Here you cannot see. Where can you see? Here, look, 194. So he should win all the headers. He's fast. He, he should dribble. He should, he's like a Ronaldo, kind of. Although he doesn't have a lot of bravery, not concentration, it does apparently make good decisions. Yeah, I mean this guy should be scoring again a lot more than what he is. But okay, let's wrap this up. We will come back sometime around here, and hopefully book our place in the final. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye.